Okay, welcome to lab week eight. A reminder, there are two assignments due. Um, either put them up on uh, the VCR up in the front of the lab or submit them online, however you prefer to do that. We'll try to get your keys posted soon so you get a feel for how that worked. I'm going to ask you to watch a um, dry matter intake video by Dr. Hutchins. And there is an assignment associated with that that is up on Blackboard in the Lab Week 8 folder as well as the assignment folder. Um, what we're going to do here is talk about partitioning uh, the dry matter into piles. And there's an assignment up on Blackboard for that. If you can finish these two videos and your time is yours, so study your feed ID, um, work on your two assignments, and then check your silos. So the video from YouTube, uh, it's a Ward's Dairyman webinar, Dr. Mike Hutchins. He's a, a pretty famous for his um, kind of online work, his uh, very practical um, thoughts or uh, discussions about nutrition on farms. He's a lot more practical than most people and he really understands what it needs to be on a farm. Uh, driving dry matter intake on dairy farms is the name. There's a link both in Blackboard and right here that you could click on and get to that page. Within that page, there's a YouTube video. You can um, work it from there. So last week we talked about um, how much dry matter is a feed, and we're going to extend this concept this week. So we're, we, last week we took the as-fed pound over here, and the dry matter times the dry matter to get dry matter pounds. Now what we want to do is split up this dry matter pounds into nutrients if we can. So we're going to partition. The dry matter and these calculations are going to split up the dry matter into groups of uh, nutrients that are significant by weight. So we're taking a look at the dry matter here. We've got dry matter, what we worked with last week. Now we're going to divide that up into five different nutrient groups. So we talked about, it would be very similar to what we did last week. So what we're going to do in the same spirit is we're going to take the dry matter pounds that we figure out and then we're going to take the crude protein or crude, the amount of starch and sugar, some percentage divided by 100 Whatever that nutrient is, dry matter pounds times crude protein pounds or crude protein percent is going to give us crude protein pounds. So we could do the same thing with starch. Pounds times percent gives us pounds for all the different nutrients that we choose in order to split up the dry matter. So here we have an example of taking 100 pounds of hay crop silage dry matter, and we're going to split it into sugar and starch, NDF. These two are carbohydrates, so the more available carbohydrate versus the cell wall. We're going to use crude protein, uh, protein as CP, crude protein is the initials there, fat, for that nutrient and ash is going to represent our minerals. So a typical hay crop silage might be 15% sugar and starch, 60% NDF, 15% crude protein, 3% fat, 7% ash. So in this class we're going to try to make these five nutrients add up to 100. 
So if I take 100 pounds of dry matter, multiply it by 15%, I'm going to get 15 pounds of sugar and starch in this pile of dry matter. 60% times 100 is going to give me 60 pounds of NDF. And we work our way down here, 15 pounds, 3 pounds, and 7 pounds. So going to be pretty straightforward there. So if we're going to petition our feed into nutrients, we're going to do a two-step process. We start with the as-fed pounds, and we remove the water just like we did last week. So we take um, as-fed pounds, multiply the dry matter percentage, gives us dry matter pounds. The dry matter plus the water add up to 100, so dry matter as-fed pounds times water pounds. Um, water as fed pounds times water percent is going to give us water pounds. Then we take whatever dry matter we've established and then we multiply by the percents of protein, sugar, and starch, NDF, fat, and ash to get the respective pounds of each of those nutrients. The one class of nutrients we're missing here. Um, is vitamins. We've got water, protein, two representing carbohydrates, fats, and ash. Vitamins don't add up to a significantly uh, a significant amount, so we really don't consider them in these basic calculations. So how might we do two examples? So here again, up the top of the whiteboard, we have our as-fed. Step one, we split it into water and dry matter. Step two, we split it up into crude protein, our two carbohydrate groups, fat and ash as minerals. So we can take a thousand pounds of hay, or two, a ton of hay, and a ton of corn silage. Step one, we take that 2,000 pounds of hay, we know it's 12% water and 88% dry matter. So we 2,000 times 12% is going to mean that in that pile of 2,000 pounds of hay, we're going to have 240 pounds of water. That same 2,000 pounds, if we multiply by the dry matter percentage of 88, is going to give us 1,760 pounds of dry matter in that one ton of hay. If we've done our math right, we can check it by saying 240, 1,760 should add up to the original amount, which is 2,000 before. Step two over here, we take that 1,760, that's our dry matter, and we multiply it by the respective dry matter percentages to get the amount of each of our nutrients. So 10% times our dry matter pounds is going to give us 167 pounds of protein. Sugar and starch at 15% times 1,700 and 60 is going to give us 264 pounds of sugar and starch in that ton of hay. 65% NDF times our dry matter pounds is going to give us 1,144 pounds. So more than half of that pile is NDF or cell wall. Fat, we've got 4%. That's going to work out multiplying out to 70 pounds. Ash, 60 per 6 times 1, 6% times 1,760 is going to give us 106 pounds of fat. If we've done this right and our, our percentages over here add up to 100, we should get a adding these up the same dry matter percent or dry matter pounds that we started with. So we have to divide that 1,760 pounds into parts. These should add up to that. 
So I recommend that you pause here and go through and do the math yourself to make sure you can follow this example. So pause here. Okay, our other example is one ton of corn silage. The typical analysis of that would be 65% water, 35% dry matter. If we 2,000 times 65% or 65 divided by 100 is going to give us 1,300 pounds. 2,000 pounds times 35% dry matter is going to give us 700 pounds of dry matter. So that's step one. We move on to step two. We bring down our 700 pounds. We have analysis of the corn silage as 10% protein, 37% sugar and starch, 46% NDF, 3% fat, 4% ash. We do the math, 10% times 700 gives us 70 pounds of protein, 37 times 700, 259 pounds of sugar and starch, 46 times 700 gives us 322 pounds of NDF, 3%, 21 pounds of fat, and 28 pounds of ash. So we notice in this pile of corn silage, that we have mostly water, and that's the challenge with silages. How far can we transport them with that much water content and make it profitable? Same with manure going the other way. So 1,300 pounds of water, that's a whole lot more than our hay at 240 pounds. So again, I recommend that you work through the problem here, make sure you understand it. Your assignment, you have six different feeds, at, uh, six different amounts. So you're going to go through that um, spreadsheet, enter your data, and either you can submit it electronically or print it out and turn that in next week as a hard copy. So that's it for today.